Howdy folks, it's Diecast Buffalo here again, and welcome to race 4 out of 36 of the NASCAR Thunder 2004 career mode, the Bass Pro Shops MBNA 500 from Atlanta Motor Speedway. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, it's going to get fun. So last week, at, uh, what was it, where did we go last week guys, Las Vegas, yeah Las Vegas, we finished inside the top 20, number 20th in standings. And our sponsor is very happy. Uh, uh, Mayfield, come on, man. <laughs> but um, our sponsors are pretty happy right now. We didn't qualify top 30, so we did not get all three of the sponsorship objectives. But we did what we needed to do to get the little trees happy. So their happiness is up to 70. Uh, we have them on for 18 races in 2004, which is great because that just means that's $43,000 extra every week. But this is petty numbers. Like, we need real numbers. That $61,000 bonus for qualifying 30th is going to make or break our season. And, guys, I am getting excited. And you want to know why I'm getting excited? It's this engine right here. I mean, just kidding. That's a chassis. <laughs> this engine right here, 74 in a 62. That is amazing. So, 74 power will be getting in four races. We're gonna be getting a uh, we're gonna get a 69, 67 on tire grip, so we're gonna have an amazing engine and amazing chassis. So that's gonna be fun. And in those four races, we're gonna be getting a fab shop, so we'll be able to start building our own bodies. So we are really, I think, after Talladega, our team is going to take a step up. Uh, let's go check the points uh, leader. So it's Dale Jarrett. He's uh, got two wins this year. Look at, look at that. Two wins, two wins, two wins, two wins. Wow. It's got two day total 500s in the last two years. That's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get, build the car ready. So we're going to go to Atlanta. We're going to bring the best equipment we got because why not? 64 power. Um, Yeah. Let's go to Georgia. All right, folks. So we qualified dead last here at Atlanta. I, I tried everything. There was no way I was getting that extra... Uh, whatever, 60-something thousand for qualifying the top 30. There was no way. I tried just about everything I could to get this car to be, uh, to be even better than uh, 40th. We're like a full second behind on speed. It sucks. I, I don't know what to do with this race car, man. I've tried everything I could, but let's go ahead and send it down trackside for the Bass Pro Shops NBA 500 from Atlanta Motor Speedway. EA Sports welcomes you to Hampton, Georgia, site of today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Bass Pro Shops MBNA 500. I expect to see some exciting action in this one, don't you? NASCAR doesn't use restricted plates for this track, which is why it's actually one of the fastest tracks in Winston Cup series. We may see some speeds hit 200 miles an hour just before they dive into the corners. How about the consistency shown by Jimmy Johnson? Points, points, points. Wins are great when they come, but top 10 finishes week after week are what builds your points. Heck, you could win the championship on top 10s alone if you're consistent. In 1999, Tony Stewart won the Rookie of the Year Award with one of the finest first seasons in NASCAR history. Three wins, two poles, and a fourth place points finish. That's a tough act to follow for any driver, and I'll bet it'll be a long time before another rookie has a coming out party that big. The 82 car hasn't performed well at all at the Speedway tracks this season. His crew chief assured me this morning that they have got a fast car. Let's keep an eye on him and see how it goes. We actually had a lot of speed in the car, and it felt good to run good for a while. Starting out front are the DuPont Chevrolet. But there's like no the speed in this car, man. No speed. Starting in last two in the water. The Altel Dodge. And, and let's get ready to go. Green flag racing. Here we go. Green, green, green at Atlanta. 
Hopefully we have some sort of a decent finish today. But, uh, definitely not happy about qualifying last. Car is extremely slow getting up to speed. Wow, is this thing slow. Yeah, it's going to hurt us on pit road. Yep, this thing is garbage. This is going to be a long race. I don't even know where to begin with this car. I mean, just how bad are we, man? I remember the last time we went to Atlanta, we actually raced terrible, too. So, I don't know, guys. But, um, yeah, if I cut ahead in the uh, coverage of this race, uh, don't be surprised, because it is going to be uh, another Rockingham. Alright guys, so pit sequence is starting and we are all over the racetrack with extremely loose equipment. Here comes Jeff Gordon who is just on a tear. Uh, second place Kurt Busch, third Harvick, Johnson fourth, and Marlin who is last week's winner at Vegas who is fifth. Gordon looking to get his first win this year. Everyone else is on pit road which means we're going to go ahead and come down pit road and uh, four fresh tires and some good years. My goodness, is this thing a hunk of John. There we go. We're going to repair damage. Um, they're going to put a wedge adjustment. Why not? We have nothing to lose. This thing is just... God, dude, it's such a pain to drive. It's making me fall asleep behind the wheel because we're just that off. Hopefully, we're going to get that uh, 74 power engine and uh, what is it, like a 70 uh, tire grip chassis and we can actually do some damage. So much work needs to be done on this race car before we can be competitive, man. I mean, look at this 20 second pit stop. Wow. I mean, it's just, it, it, it's really unfortunate, but you're going to have these races. I'm just looking for Talladega, man. That's the only race that matters is Talladega. Because I truly think we can win that. I mean, heck, we almost won the 500. Oh my lord! What in the world just happened behind us? A cosmic event just happened. Oh my god. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. This is a crazy wreck behind us. You have uh, Nemechek who's trying to get around me. I accidentally get into him. He gets loose and he just collides with another car and goes airborne. Oh my lord, I need to replay this. Wow. Oh my god, man. He just fly out Michael Waltrip and Joe Nemechek. Huge hit, man. Holy cow, look at this. Bam! That is a rough wreck right there. Because the reason why Nemechek was so slow is because I bumped into him and slowed him down. I mean, I'm not going to pit. Darn. So, Del Jarrett is still out front. We're still deep in the points. And we'll be last. Yep, 40 seconds. Oh, boy. Let's just uh, get this race over with. Just like that, finally, this race is over. Tony Stewart wins at Atlanta. That's awesome. Glad to see uh, old Stewart winning. Not many drivers. But I had a terrible finish. I'm a little surprised that we didn't have more leaders. It just goes to show that with the right setup and the right strategy, you can. That just basically sums up how I feel about this race. The 82 car didn't have much of a race. I hate it for those guys too. They were so positive. Oh, so finally that race is over. We literally only made a thousand. That's all we made. Oh, sucks. We didn't even get the primary. We didn't even get the secondary. We got absolutely nothing. Poop. Poop, poop, poop. Well, 
Let's go take a look at the statistics. Tony Stewart had a pretty dominant day as well as Jeff Gordon. Uh, Del Jarrett was never a factor. Uh, definitely hats off to Stewart picking up another win in his amazing career last year's champion. And with that, that's going to conclude today's video. That's going to end today's video. Thank God I can get out of Atlanta. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Amp near right here. Smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great one. And Diecast Buffet signing off.